Hello, good evening, everybody. Hello, Miss. Hello. Hi, Miss. How are you guys? Hello, everybody. Hello there, Sajil. How are you? Hello, teacher. Hi. Good evening. Hello. Good, good. <laughs> good, good. All right, excellent. Everybody, welcome back to your English class. It's a pleasure to see you. I hope you're safe and sound, right? Espero que todos estén bien de salud y es un placer verlos, right? We're just about to start the class. Ya casi comenzamos la clase. Um, let me see. Today we're going to, to be working on section five, all right? The last section of the platform. So it's going to be pretty, pretty good, right? Let me share with you the, um, the content. All right, I hope you see the content. So today is Monday, October 18, 2021. We are in section five. What are you doing? We are in class 13, all right? Let me see. Today we're going to start that section and let's pray to God that we're going to finish the section by tomorrow. And also tomorrow, we are going to start with the final exam, right? Y ahora vamos a continuar con la sección 5. Bueno, a iniciar la sección 5. Y primeramente Dios, mañana podamos finalizarla. De hecho, ahora de esta PPT queda bien poco contenido ya para mañana. Solo queda como un... Creo que esta llega hasta la 5.11. So ya saben que lo demás es bien poco contenido, right? Lo que haría falta para mañana. Eh, déjenme ver, mañana comenzaríamos a ver un poquito de review para el examen. Ya el miércoles lo trabajamos y el jueves hacemos un review. All right, denme un segundo, please. Solo contesto un mensaje. All right, everybody. Excellent. And let me see. Let's continue. Vamos a hacer un pequeño review de lo que ya vimos in section um, four, right? Esto también lo vamos a ver en the section five. Entonces, no está mal que hagamos un review pequeño. Tenemos present continuous, just no questions, right? Entonces, voy a necesitar que uno de ustedes sea las questions y el otro sea las answers. Vamos a ver, Luis Salazar. Hi, Luis, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Excellent, very really good. Okay, Luis, you're going to be the questions. And Jose, how are you, Jose? <laughs> Let's see, you're going to be Jose Moss. Hello, teacher. Hello there. You're going to be the answer. Usted va a hacer las respuestas, all right? Okay, okay. Let's get started. Are you wearing a suit? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Okay. Is she wearing boots? Yes, she is. No, she's not. Ajá, no. Tenemos otra respuesta. No, she isn't. No, she isn't. She is. Uh -huh. Are they wearing glasses? Yes. They are. No, they are not. No, they aren't. They aren't. Excellent, thank you. Yes, justamente como se lo pronunció, they aren't. Very good. Excellent. Um, Luis and Jose, thank you so much. All right, let's go with Sachild. Sachild, you are the questions. Darwin, you are the answers. Action. Okay. Number one. Are you wearing a suit? Yes, I am. No, I am no. Number two. Is she wearing boots? Yes, she is. No, she is no. No, she is. In. Number three. Are they wearing glasses? Yes, they are. No, they are not. No, they are not. Excellent. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much, Sajid and Darwin. 
All right, let's move on, everybody. Tenemos esta guiding structure as per usual, right? Esta estructura guía es precisamente para las yes, no questions, right? Tenemos esto. Voy a necesitar que uno de ustedes la lea. Let me see, Daisy López, can you please read the guiding structure? Hello. Hi, welcome. Ver to be plus subject plus ver plus eh, in, I, in, I, 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 in G uh, plus complement plus question. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Question mark. Excellent, Daisy. Very good. Sí, la verdad es que este es literal como está en el alfabeto, right? I and G. I and G. Ajá. I and G. Uh -huh. Very good. Y o si en dado caso usted siente que le cuesta mucho, solo puede decir verb in progressive, verbo en progresivo, right? Y ya se entiende que es con el I and G. Ah, All okay. right. Excellent. Very good. Everybody, una consulta tenía en esta structure, ¿verdad que no? O sí. Ya tenía esta guiding structure. Sí, la dejó el jueves, la puse. Excellent, very good, all right. Entonces podemos mover. Let's see. Como estamos haciendo un breve review, tenemos esto: um, guiding examples. Let me see. Álvaro Calderón, can you please read number one, two, and three? Okay. Uh, number one: Are you killing Pablo? Number two: Is Marta eating pizza? Number three, are Julio and Fernando drinking soda? Excellent, sir. Very good. Renato, please, four and five. Are we wearing uniforms? Is they be driving home? All right, excellent. Thank you, Mario. Very good. All right, Thank everybody. You. Let's check this one, right? Como ya saben ustedes, para comenzar las preguntas, yo, como son yes, no questions, las voy a iniciar con el verb to be. No, no hay otra forma hasta ahorita, right? Ya vamos a ver otra, pero cuando estamos hablando de yes, no questions, nos referimos a que vamos a comenzar con el verb to be. Luego le ponemos el subject, luego le ponemos un verb que queramos utilizar. Por ejemplo, esta última, mi verb es dry, ¿verdad? Dry. Y lo pasé en ING driving, right? Entonces, eso es lo que funciona para poder hacer las questions. Es la manera más factible, la más fácil y la real, right? Let's move on. Practice time. Aún así, quiero que ustedes entren en su practice time. Vamos a ver quién nos lee las instructions. Um, Luis Salazar, please read the instructions. Okay. Instructions number one, work individually. Number two, create one question using present continuous. Yes, no question. All right, excellent, sir. Thank you. Entonces, vamos a trabajar. Vamos a hacer una question. Now. All right, let's work on it. Let me know when you're finished. Finish teacher. Excellent, very good.
Me hizo una consulta. Yes. El, 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 el ejemplo va a ser como el que estaba anterior de esto, ¿verdad? De las instrucciones. Uh -huh. Exactly. Uh -huh. Son preguntas. Okay. Ah. Okay. Es que yo no me conecté el viernes, el jueves, perdón. Ah, ay, no, yo la recording, ¿verdad? <risa> sí. All right, don't worry. Sí, pero la structure, si se fijó en la estructura, lo que nos pide es el verb to be adelante como principal, right? Y luego un subject, sí. que eso ustedes ya los manejan. Y luego solo a su verb, sí, sí. que usted quiere poner, le pone ing. Sí, ya, ya, ya me ubiqué con eso. All right. Gracias. Excellent. You're welcome, sir. Sochi. Sí, por ejemplo, esa que estoy haciendo, is that my dress, aplica. Fíjese que sí está bien, pero eso es como present, simple present. No me mm -hmm. tiene un ING ahí. Mm -hmm. Sí está bien estructurada, pero no es ING. No, puede. Les voy a poner estos examples por aquí para que nos guiemos. Recuerden que tenemos diferentes verbs, like, for example, uh, sing, jump, tenemos cantar, sal, cantar, perdón, can, cantar, eso no existe, <ríe> cantar, saltar, um, correr, hablar, right? Esos verbos, a esos son los que le van a poner el ing, All right? Ok, finish. Excellent, very good. Finish. All right, very good. Let me see. Let's just wait for somebody else to finish and we're going to start. Finish. All right, very good. Let's get started, everyone. So let's see. Um, Alvaro Calderon, please. Let me know your question. Okay, teacher. Um, Are you eating in the class? Yes, Very I good. am eating. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Recuerde, um, Álvaro, que como son yes, no questions, usted solo puede decir yes, I am, right? Para la respuesta. Ok, ok. Excellent. Very good. Perfecto. All right, excellent. Um, let me see. Vamos a ver. Um, Daisy López, please. My boss is work, working at his office. All right, very good. That's correct. Excellent. Everyone, les voy a pedir un segundito, porque saben que me acaba de caer un mensaje que dice que mi internet, la connection no está muy stable, right? Que no está muy estable. Entonces voy a conectar mi cable directo al internet. Denme un segundito, porque no quiero arriesgar a que se me caiga la reunión con ustedes, ¿all right? I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Excellent. 
Um, let me see, Sochi, your sentence, please. Okay. Is Maria drinking water? Yes, she is. Is she running in the park? No, she is not. All right, excellent. Very good, those. Let me have uh, Magdalena Benitez. Am I studying English? Yes, I am. Excellent, very good. Una propia, excellent. Um, Luis Salazar. Is she playing soccer? Yes, she is. All right, excellent, very good, sir. Mario Renato. Is he dancing music in the discotheque or is John dancing music in the discotheque? Yes, he is. No, he's not. No, he isn't. Excellent. Very good, sir. That's correct. Darwin Campos, please. Are you dancing, Maria? Yes, I am. Excellent. Very good. That's correct. And let me see, Jose Mose. Let's see, all right. Maybe the internet connection is not so good. Don't worry. All right, let's move on everybody. Listen, um, if by any chance you have any question about this, si ustedes por alguna razón tienen alguna pregunta de este tema, ahorita es cuando para hacerle, right? Me debemos, nos movamos de esto. We're not, getting, we're not coming back, right? No nos vamos a regresar. Así que, a ver, questions, questions. O sea, yo mismo. O sea, que siempre que, que vayamos a hacer una pregunta, o sea, siempre tiene que haber el verbo to be antes. Si son yes, si son yes o no. Ah, ok. Sí, ahí sí está totalmente perfecto lo que usted acaba de decir. Ya vamos okay. a ver otra más adelante. No recuerdo si es en esta section. ¿Cómo no? No, la siguiente es. No, en la siguiente, ya no hay otra. En la otra PPT que les tengo preparada ya para mañana, right? Ahí sí viene un um, tema avanzadito de eso, que es otra manera de hacer unas progressives, right? Ok, thank you. Excellent, you're welcome. ¿Alguien más? ¿Preguntas? Oh, all right, everything is clear. Excellent, very good. All right, solo para terminar el review, recuerdan las conjunctions, right? And and but. Veamos algunos, veíamos la clase pasada que las conjunctions are words that link other words, phrases, or clauses together, right? You remember? And let me see, tenemos estos guiding examples. Miren, yo aquí les hice unos guiding examples ya utilizando el ing, el progresivo, right? Que es como lo estamos viendo ahorita. Voy a necesitar que... Daisy Lopez, can you please read number one? I am drink, I am drinking soda and I am eat, ¿cómo se pronuncia esa? Eating. Perdón? Eating. Eating. Uh -huh. Eating pizza. But I am not watching TV. Excellent, very good, all right? Llevamos dos cosas que haríamos usualmente en frente de una televisión, right? Pero no, estamos diciendo, estoy tomando gaseosa y estoy comiendo pizza, pero no estoy viendo TV, right? Then you see, let's go with Álvaro Calderón, please, read number two. Okay. Arnold is listening to music, but he is not studying. Excellent. Studying. Así es, Stu studying. Studying. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. Okay. Excellent. Very good. And the last one, Sochil, please. Okay. They are working, but they don't like their jobs. Right. Así se pronuncia. Uh -huh. There. Okay. There. There. Right. Uh -huh. Very good. Sí, porque ese es el subject pronoun. Very good. Entonces, pues están trabajando, pero en realidad no les gusta su trabajo, right? No les gusta su trabajo. 
All right, qué terrible. <laughs> Let's see. Estos son algunos ejemplos que ustedes pueden visualizar utilizando en ING y la, en la estructura correcta que ustedes tienen, right? Donde tenemos el, el verb to be, no, perdón, el subject, verb to be, el ING y el demás complemento, right? Así es como funciona esto. Esto es en statements. Estas no son preguntas, estos son en statements, right? Afirmaciones. All right. Um, let me move on. Teníamos una practice por aquí. Pero creo que lo hicimos con ustedes la semana pasada también la practice. All right. If by any chances we have time, si por algún motivo tenemos tiempo, vamos a hacer esa practice. Meanwhile, let's move on. Tenemos time zones, right? Time zones. Tenemos Vancouver. Vaya, vale, miren, vamos a ver las uh, cities, las ciudades, right? Y más adelante vamos a ver el time, depending on the song. Ok, Vancouver, Los Angeles, Mexico City, Lima, Montreal, New York City, San Juan, Brasilia, Sao Paulo, Cape Town. Right? Cape Town. Let me see. Estos son como de los más facilitos porque en la otra parte aparecen otros que ya son un poquito más uh, difíciles. Right? The pronunciation. Right? Um, now we're going to try. You are going to try. Let me see. I'm going to start with Magdalena Benitez. Please tell me the vocabulary. Vancouver. Los Angeles, Mexico City, Lima, Montreal, New York City, San Juan, Brasilia, Sao Paulo, Cape Town. Excellent, girl, very good, thank you. Luis Salazar, please. Vancouver, Los Angeles, Mexico City, Lima, Montreal, New York City, San Juan, Brasilia, Sao Paulo, Cape Town. Excellent, sir. Very As good. Teacher, I have a question. Yes. With the word number eight, Brasilia, how do you pronounce even the word don't have the letter Z? Z. Uh huh. It's true. Fíjese que es basically the same thing. Es casi lo mismo. Brasilia. Brasilia. No se le puede cambiar mucho la pronunciation. Por el país. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Pero esta es, la, esta es la ciudad, right? Um, estas son cities, todas las que tenemos aquí son mm -hmm. cities, pero el, el, el país, perdón, si sí es Brasil, right? Ahí hacemos como más intonation, Brasil. Y aquí es como Brasilia. Así, okay. right? Thank you. Very good question. Si sí me gusta que hagan preguntas. All right, let's go with Mario Renato, please. Juan Vancouver. To Los Angeles, three Mexico City, four Lima, five Montreal, six New York City, seven San Juan, eight Brasilia, nine Sao Paulo, ten Cape Town. Excellent, thank you. Let me go with well, Daisy Lopez, please. Vancouver, Los Angeles, Mexico City, Lima, Montreal, New York City, San Juan, Brasilia, Sao Paulo, Cape Town. Excellent, thank you. Álvaro Calderón, please. Uh, Vancouver, Los Angeles, Mexico City, Lima, Montreal, New York City, San Juan, Brasilia, Sao Paulo, Cape Town. Excellent, thank you. Sachil? Vancouver, Los Angeles, Mexico City, Lima, Montreal, New York City, San Juan, Brasilia, Sao Paulo, y Cape Town. Excellent, very good. Let me see Darwin Campos. Vancouver, Los Angeles, Mexico City, Lima, Montreal, New York City, San Juan, Brasilia, 
Sao Paulo y Cape Town. Excellent. Thank you. Very good. Let me check if we're missing somebody else. Mm, no, we're doing pretty good. All right. Bye. Estos son como los más easy peasy que tenemos, right? Vamos a los otros. All right. Let me see. Tenemos Casa Blanca, right? Qué bueno que hablamos en español. <laughs> Casa Blanca. Then we have number two, London. Number three, check this out, Warsaw. Warsaw, right? It's not necessary to say Warsaw, no, Warsaw, all right? You can stop in there. Moscow, Moscow, Raya, Raya. Esta, podemos tomar el sonido, the sound, así, miren. Raya, Raya, right? De hecho, creo que en el video así les aparece a ustedes en la translation, Raya. Let me see. Luego tenemos Seoul, Bangkok, Tokyo, Sydney, right? Sydney. Seguimos con las cities. Todas estas son ciudades. Um, let me see. I'm going to start now with... Álvaro Calderón, please. Okay. Casablanca, London, Guarza, Mosca, uh, Rial, Seoul, Bangkok, Tokyo, Sydney. Excellent, sir. Very good. Let's go with Sachil, please. Casa Blanca, London, Warsaw, así dijo. Warsaw. Yeah, Warsaw. Moscú, Moscú. Moscú. Real, Seoul, Bangkok, Tokyo, Sydney. Mm -hmm. Excellent, very good. Um, en estas palabras, como, como en esta de Vancouver, dan ganas de decirlo así como Vancouver, Pero no, en el video a ustedes les aparece como Vancouver, right? Easy. Eh, lo mismo con esta. Dan ganas de decir más cute porque suena como más fancy, right? Pero en el video aparece como Moscow, right? Hasta ahí, Moscow. Um, let's check. Thank you, Sachil. Luis Salazar, your turn. Casablanca, London, Warsaw, Moscow. Riot, Seoul, Bangkok, Tokyo, Sydney. All right, excellent. Thank you very much. Let's go with Mario Renato, please. White House, no, Casa Blanca, London, Warsaw, Moscow, Real, Seoul, Bangkok, Tokyo, Sydney. All right, excellent. Very good. That was funny, that joke. <laughs> All right. Let's go with um, Daisy Lopez, please. Casablanca, London, Guarza, Moscow, Ruaya, Seoul, Bangkok, Tokyo, Sydney. All right, excellent, really good. Miren, de verdad que hay, hay series que tienen um, Nombres bien raros, right? Um, for example, let me see. Tenemos en esta, en United States, hay una que es Ohio, right? Pero se escribe bien raro, como Ohio, algo así, right? Entonces, es de tener bastante cuidado porque, pues, si no conocemos la pronunciación o no conocemos la city, podemos pronunciarlo mal y decir Ohio cuando es Ohio, right? So that's why this, this vocabulary is pretty amazing. Eh? Tener este tipo de vocabulario es grandioso porque así no andamos perdidos después con la pronunciation. Let Teacher, me see. Yeah. Uh -huh. eh, en el video de, 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 de esto aparece como la, la City 2, como Londres, y lo pronuncia como London. Sí, eh, así ¿por es. Qué la, ¿Por qué la diferencia? Londres a uh, London. Es que Lon Londres es para nosotros ya en Spanish, right? Es como traducida básicamente. 
pero oh, aún okay. en inglés, si usted le dice en inglés o en el inglés británico, es London. Ah, perfecto. Es que ahí ve, veo que dice Londres, pero la pronunciación es London. Sí, no, pero para nosotros ya en Spanish es Londres. Pero Londres, si usted okay. puede decir London, es mejor todavía. <laughs> right? Mejor, ok. Gracias. Excellent. Very good, sir. Good question. Action. Um, es como... Y esa buena, esa excelente su pregunta porque es como nosotros no podemos decir, para decir El Salvador no podemos decir The Savior, right No lo traducimos, decimos El Salvador, I'm from El Salvador. No decimos, I'm, no decimos, I'm from El Savior, right Es totalmente diferente. Hay cosas que no se pueden traducir, pero en el caso de esa Siri sí se pudo poner la translation de Londres. Let me see, ahora vamos con Darwin Campos, please. Casablanca, London, Warsaw, Moscú, Riyadh, Seoul, Bangkok, Tokyo, Sydney. Excellent, thank you. And the last one, Magdalena Benítez, please. Casablanca, London, Warsaw, Moscú, Riyadh, Seoul, Bangkok, Tokyo, and Sydney. All right, excellent, everybody. Very good. Good pronunciation. Excellent. Siempre lo voy a animar a que sigamos practicando, pero ahorita están muy bien. Excellent. Let's go with this conversation. It's really funny. It's a really funny conversation, right? Let me see. Uh, primero la voy a decir yo la conversation. Escuchen atentamente o con cuidado y después le va a tocar a ustedes. Hello. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I'm calling from Australia. Australia? I'm at a conference in Sydney. Remember? All oh, right. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m. And it's 4 o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes. 4 o'clock in the morning. 4 a.m.? Oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay. I'm awake now. All right. Entonces la despertó creyendo que era en realidad las cuatro de la tarde. Right. So let's see. Let's check this out. It's your turn to practice. I'm going to have a Luisa Lazar. You are John. So chill. You are Debbie. Action. Hello. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I'm calling from Australia. Australia? I'm at that conference in Sydney, remember? All right. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m. and it's 4 o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, 4 o'clock in the morning. 4 a.m.? Oh, I'm really sorry. Thanks. Okay, I am awake now. <laughs> Excellent. Very good intonation and pronunciation. We're doing good. All right. Funny, funny. Let me go with um, Alvaro Calderón. You are John. Daisy Lopez, you are Debbie. Action. Hello. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I'm calling from Australia. Australia? I had a conference in, in Sydney, remember? All right. What time is, is there? It's 10 p.m. and it's 4 o'clock. Yes. They're in Los Angeles, right? Yes. 4 o'clock in the morning. For I am, oh, I'm really sorry. Thank you. Okay, I am away now. All right, excellent. Thank you, Alvaro and Daisy. Good pronunciation and good intonation. Very good. All right, everybody, don't forget. No se olviden, aquí no es thanks. Aquí es that's okay, all right? Es como, está bien, right? That's okay. Let's go with Mario Renato. You are John. 
And let me look for a pair. Magdalena Benitez, you are Debbie. Action. Hello. Hi, Debbie. He's young. I call him from Australia. Australia? I am at a conference in Sydney, remember? All right. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m. and it's four o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, four o'clock in the morning. Four, I am. Oh, I am really sorry. That's okay, I awake now. All right, excellent. Very good, guys. Good intonation, good pronunciation. Let's have Darwin Campos. Darwin, you are John, and let me look for somebody who could play um, Debbie. Any volunteer to play the role of Debbie? Algún voluntario? Excellent, yeah. Very good. Action. Hello. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I'm calling from Australia. Australia? And a conference in Sydney, remember? All right. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m. and it's 4 o'clock. There is in Los, An Los Angeles, right? Yes, 4 o'clock in the morning. 4 I am. Oh. I'm really sorry. That's okay. I am away now. Excellent. Very good, everybody. Thank you, Darwin. Thank you, Sachel, for your participation and your collaboration. All right. Listen, everybody. Um, next, we're going to see this, right? Very good. Uh, so far, do you have any question? Hasta ahorita, ¿tenemos alguna pregunta del vocabulario que se muestra en esta conversation? Alguna pronunciation que ustedes sienten que les cueste o algo que quieran saber? Mi solo, solo, a mí, a mí a veces me confunde el ayan con el an. Ahí donde dice, donde right. dice an, hacia conference. ¿Se pronuncia ah. ayan o an? Am, ah, esa es la correcta. En una clase yo les mencionaba que Vamos a decir I am cuando aparece el I, la I, con el am, right? Con la A y la M, am. I am. Pero aquí es am. Ya es la contraction, por ende se pronuncia. Contractado. Uh -huh. Exacto. Ok, gracias. Very good. ¿Alguien más? Somebody else? No, everything's clear. All right, let's move on. Vaya, mire. Hicieron muy bonita la conversación, los felicito, me encantó, All right? Vamos a ver ahora cómo se pronuncian algunas de estas uh, letras o palabras que tenemos, right? Vamos aquí, it says, escuchen primero, and then it's going to be your turn. It's one o'clock. It's one o'clock. It's one o five. It's one o five. It's five after one. It's five after one. It's one fifteen. It's one fifteen. It's a quarter after one. It's a quarter after one. It's one thirty. Okay, recordemos que este no se pronuncia thirty, es one thirty. It's one forty. It's one forty. It's twenty to two. It's twenty to two. It's one forty five. It's one forty five. It's a quarter to two. It's a quarter to two, right? Um, then we have these expressions, right? In the morning, a.m. Echemos un vistazo a eso. Eh, he podido notar que cuando todos estamos aprendiendo siempre solemos decir, hey, I am, right? I am. 
Y eso nos pasa a todos los que comenzamos, right? I am, I am. Y aquí es a am, a am. No se olviden que la pronunciación de la A en inglés es a, right? A am. Luego tenemos nun. Aunque se escribe con doble O, no se pronuncia non, right? Es nun. PM. In the afternoon. PM. In the evening. PM. At night. PM. Midnight. AM. Si notan ustedes, tenemos más formas de expresar el past meridian, right? Pasado meridiano. Tenemos como cuatro formas para expresarlo. Y para expresar el morning, AM, sería solamente in the morning and midnight. Midnight es básicamente medianoche. Eso literalmente es, right? De la, las 12 en punto, ahí es midnight. De las 12 a la 1, quizás exageremos, right? Uh, hasta ahí es midnight. Pero ya de la 1 en adelante ya es in the morning, AM, right? Ya es la madrugada. Entonces, ya podemos hacer, comenzar a hacer uso. Por ejemplo, eh, si antes entrábamos a la clase y decíamos good night, miss, right? Ya sabemos que ahora es good evening, good evening, right? Porque good night solo lo vamos a utilizar cuando ya nos vayamos a dormir, right? Meanwhile, vamos a decir good evening, right? Si fuera en la tarde, podemos decir good afternoon, right? Everybody, let's practice this. I'm going to have Luis Salazar. Please give me all this vocabulary. And when you finish with this, you move on to this one. Okay. It's one o'clock. It's one oh five. It's five after one. It's one fifteen. Fifteen. It's a quarter after one. It's one thirty. It's one forty. It's twenty to two. It's one forty-five. It's a quarter to two. In the morning, a.m., noon, p.m., in the afternoon, p.m., in the evening, p.m., at night, p.m., midnight, a.m. Excellent. Very good, sir. Very good. Let's go with Daisy Lopez, please. It's one o'clock. It's one of five. It's five after one. It's, it's one fifteen. It's a quarter after one. It's one thirty. It's one forty. It's twenty-two. Twenty-two two. It's one forty-five. It's a quarter to two. In the morning, a.m., noon, uh, p.m. In the afternoon, p.m. In the evening, p.m. At night, p.m. Meeting, a.m. All right, excellent. Repeat after me, Daisy. Midnight. Midnight. Mm -hmm. AM. AM. Excellent. Very good, Daisy. Very good. Miss, una, eh, one question. Huh? Midnight, ¿qué dijo que era? Media mañana o cómo? No, midnight es medianoche. Justamente a las 12 ya ahí es midnight. All right. Uh, let me check. Who else, do, who else do we have? Sochil. Vamos a aprovechar Sochil. It's your turn. Okay, it's one o'clock, it's one of five, it's five after one, it's one fifteen, it's water after one, it's one thirty, it's one forty, it's twenty to two. And then we have the sensation that it's to two. It's one forty-five. It's a uh, water to two, two. 
in the morning a.m., non p.m., in the afternoon p.m., in the evening, evening, evening p.m., at night p.m., at midnight a.m. Excellent, very really good. So just repeat after me, water. Water. Look, it's water. 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 No, se me está diciendo water, agua. <laughs> All ah. right, I guess water. Literal water. con la Q, water. Uh -huh. Water. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, good. Thank, you. thank you. Let's go with Mario Renato, please. It's one o'clock. It's one o five. It's five after one. It's one fifteen. It's a quarter after one. It's one thirty. It's one forty. It's twenty to two. It's one forty five. It's a quarter to two. In the morning, a.m. No, p.m. In the afternoon, p.m. In the evening, p.m. At night, p.m. Midnight I am. All right, excellent. Very good, sir. Let's go with Darwin Campos, please. It's one o'clock. It's one of five. Five after one. It's one sixteen. It's a quarter after one. Is one thirty, is one forty, is twenty to two, is one forty five, is a quarter to two. In the morning, eight a.m., noon p.m., in the afternoon p.m., in the evening p.m., at night p.m., midnight a.m. All right, excellent, very really good. All right, everyone, listen. Because of the time, not all of you are going to be able to participate. For the tiempo, let's see that one, huh? I had a, I, I had a question. Mm -hmm. Solo, uh, yo tengo una consulta. Eh, yo estaba en otra clase de inglés, pero el teacher nos dijo de que siempre para decir la hora, íbamos a pronunciar primero los minutos y después la hora. ¿Qué tan cierto es? Mm, take a look at this one. No, no estaría 100% sure, no, no le diría que es totalmente cierto, porque si nota usted aquí, it's one o'clock, right? Tenemos primero la hora, it's one thirty, la una y treinta. Los minutos los tengo al final. Ah, ok. Sí, es que así nos había enseñado, eh. ah, Por okay. eso yo me parecía extraño. Gracias. Y pero no, thanks, thank you so much for asking. Está muy bien que haya preguntado, porque ya los examples nos guían y nos dicen, pues, ¿no? Se puede de otra manera, right? Excellent. Very good. Let's move on, everybody. Quiero avanzar. Let's see. Quiero que avancemos, mejor dicho. En cuanto a esto, ¿tienen alguna question ustedes? Porque tampoco los quiero dejar con un espacio en blanco, right? Si tienen una question, go ahead. Ask me. Si me ayuda con esto, donde dice in the morning, ¿qué, ¿qué significa? In the morning es en la mañana. Right, midnight también es eh, no, midnight es medianoche, pero también se ocupa el AM, right? Es medianoche, pero de ahí en adelante comienza la madrugada también. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. All right. Y todos los demás, okay. los de noon, Gracias. afternoon, evening, at night, estos se utilizan ya en la tarde, right? At night, pues es en la noche, pero de ahí los otros tres se utilizan en la tarde, right? Excellent, everybody. Let's work in the practice time. Ahora sí, voy una vez yo, después van ustedes, right? It's seven o'clock in the morning. Check this out. Aquí solo tengo dos formas. It's seven o'clock in the morning or it's seven a.m. Simple as that, right? As I Ya aquí tengo tres formas. It's 12 o'clock. Y yo me quedo hasta ahí. It's 12 o'clock. Se sabe que son las dos en punto, right? It's 12 p.m. Son las 12 p.m. O simplemente digo, it's noon. Si alguien me pregunta, puedo decirle, it's noon. 
All right? Y ya se sabe. Ah, el cerebro, automáticamente. Ah, son las dos. All right? It's noon. Let me go with this one. Vale, esta es la única en la que tenemos tres formas y esta otra de aquí abajo. Pero ahorita continuamos con eso. It's four o'clock in the afternoon. It's 4 p.m. It's 7 o'clock in the evening. It's 7 p.m. It's 10 o'clock at night. It's 10 p.m. Y aquí ya tenemos de nuevo tres. It's 12 o'clock at night. Esa es la primera. O también puedo expresarlo. It's 12 a.m. O puedo expresarlo de la siguiente manera. It's midnight. Y automáticamente sé que es medianoche, right? Así como noon es al mediodía en punto, también midnight es medianoche, right? Let's go. Vamos a comenzar con Magdalena Benítez. Please tell me the vocabulary. It's 7 o'clock in the morning. It's 7 a.m. It's 12 o'clock. It's 12 p.m. It's noon. It's four o'clock in the afternoon. It's 4 p.m. It's seven o'clock in the evening. It's 7 p.m. It's 10 o'clock at night. It's 10 p.m. It's 12 o'clock at night. It's 12 a.m. It's midnight. Excellent. Thank you, Magdalena. Very good. Alvaro Calderón, your turn. It's seven o'clock in the morning. It's 7 a.m. It's 12 o'clock. It's 12 p.m. It's noon. It's 4 o'clock. In the afternoon, it's 4 p.m. It's 7 o'clock. In the evening, it's 7 p.m. It's 10 o'clock. At night, it's 10 p.m. It's 12 o'clock. At night. It's 12 a.m. It's midnight. Excellent. Very good. Let's go with Luis Salazar. It's 7 o'clock in the morning. It's 7 a.m. It's 12 o'clock. It's 12 p.m. It's noon. It's 4 o'clock in the afternoon. It's 4 p.m. It's 7 o'clock in the evening. It's 7 p.m. It's 10 o'clock at the night, it's 10 p.m. It's 12 o'clock at night, it's 12 a.m. It's midnight. Right. Excellent, very good. Thank you, sir. Let's go with Sochil, please. It's 7 o'clock in the morning, it's 7 a.m. It's 12 o'clock. It's 7 p.m. It's noon. It's 4 o'clock in the afternoon. It's 4 p.m. It's 7 o'clock in the evening. It's 7 p.m. It's 10 o'clock at night. It's 10 p.m. It's 12 o'clock at night. It's 7, it's 12 o'clock a.m. It's midnight. Excellent, Sachil. Very good. All right, everybody, check this out. I just want to let you know that this is in the platform, of course, right? Entonces, como está en la plataforma, ustedes siempre pueden practicar lo más que puedan. All right, practicar con esto para que la pronunciation se los quede bien. Mm, déjenme ver, ¿tienen alguna duda ustedes ahorita de la plataforma? Más que todo, quiero saber cómo vamos en la plataforma. Ya avanzaron un poco en la section 5. Yes. 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 Very, yes. Good. Very good, everybody. All right. Qué bueno. Me alegro entonces que vayamos avanzando con la section five. Porque ya mañana la. Ya solo un temita más nos falta. Terminamos la section five y nos vamos directo al final exam, right? Entonces, pues qué bueno que ya están avanzando con eso, right? All right, everybody. That was pretty much it for today's class. I hope you have a great night. And if you have any questions, si ya tener algunas dudas de la section, pueden escribirme. 
no doy fe de contestarles en el momento ahorita porque voy a otro curso, ¿verdad? Right? Pero después de las diez y media yo les contesto con todo gusto. All right. Así que nos vemos mañana, everybody. Bye. Good night. Bye. 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 Yes. Bye.